In its vivid cacophony of engine noise and the sparkle of bright aluminum, American Chopper is more than just a television show. It's an emotional symphony of creativity and passion. It tells the story of the family's struggle between tradition and innovation on the road to building custom motorcycles, leaving a profound mark on American motorcycle culture. Following the success of American Chopper, Orange County Choppers became famous for its dramatic interactions between characters such as Mikey Tootle, Rick Petko, Vinnie DiMartino, Paul Tootle Sr., and Paul Jr. The show has spread its influence across the motorcycle industry and it inspired a new generation of builders. However, after the program ended, Orange County Choppers encountered many challenges, especially financially. Efforts to revive the program are jeopardized by legal disputes and opposition from investors. Paul Tootle Sr. faced issues over his personal use of investment capital, leading to a lengthy and unsuccessful legal battle. To solve his financial situation, he was forced to sell his luxury real estate in New York. Although Orange County Choppers was once an icon of the motorcycle industry, internal disputes and financial problems dimmed its shine following the end of American Chopper. Damn! In a shocking turn of events, Paul Tuttle Sr., renowned for his craftsmanship in building custom motorcycles, found himself in an unexpected predicament that sent shockwaves around the world. It all began with a high-speed chase involving one of his iconic bikes, leading to his apprehension by the authorities. However, what unfolded next was far more complex than anyone could have imagined. As Tuttle stood in the courtroom clad in an orange jumpsuit, the gravity of the situation became palpable. Accusations surfaced, alleging his involvement in a significant heist that captured global attention. Yet, amidst the trial proceedings, whispers circulated, suggesting a deeper, more intricate narrative at play. Was Tuttle truly a mastermind criminal, or was he merely ensnared in a web of circumstances beyond his control? With the judge's decisive gavel strike, Tuttle's fate was sealed, leaving the public bewildered and hungry for answers. However, the trial's secrecy only fueled speculation, shrouding the truth in ambiguity. Behind closed doors, the enigmatic saga unfolded, leaving lingering questions about Tuttle's involvement and the elusive secrets that may have led to his downfall. As Tuttle was escorted away, the world was left in suspense, yearning to uncover the elusive truths that lay buried beneath the surface. The mystery surrounding Tuttle's conviction continues to intrigue, prompting speculation and discussion as to the untold story that awaits revelation. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Paul Michael Tutul, despite the challenges and failures that came his way, Paul Tootle Jr.'s journey to becoming a metal artist is remarkable, very remarkable. Starting at age 12, his metal shaping skills have remained undiminished over the years. Even though Jr. owned 20% of his father's company, which they founded in 1999, this did not save him from being overthrown by his father. Upon leaving the Orange County Ironworks, where he presided over the railroad shop, he decided to establish his own shop in New York setting the stage for direct competition with his father's business. Over time, more ambitious aspirations emerged, allowing him the freedom to express his artistic abilities without family constraints. This new creative freedom attracted much attention and facilitated the expansion of his designs into clothing and personal branding. In fact, he has top clients, including industry giant Blizzard Entertainment, which is a testament to his flourishing career. Paul Jr.'s journey has been marked by his ability to lead a team of staff, demonstrating his dedication and hard work. It is worth noting that his current estimated net worth stands at a respectable $2 million, surpassing that of his father. Michael Tutul, 
known for his role on the show Mikey Toodle, hasn't experienced the same level of success as his other family members from Orange County Choppers. Initially, Mikey played a crucial role in maintaining peace within the family and the show, often serving as a peacemaker between his senior family members. While he started with entry-level tasks in the workshop, his warm and friendly personality made him a fan favorite. In 2012, Mikey made the decision to step away from the show in pursuit of personal peace and to mend his relationship with his father. Exploring his creative side, he ventured into the art world by opening an art gallery, showcasing his artwork, including panoramic pieces. Although the gallery closed its doors in 2014, Mikey continued his artistic journey by launching a web series called Wandering in 2016, aiming to raise awareness about homelessness in New York City. However, Mikey faced legal troubles when a lawsuit was filed against him in 2019, accusing his company of using another artist's work without permission. This led to a ruling in favor of the artist, resulting in significant damages. Additionally, Mikey struggled with alcohol addiction, which strained his relationship with his family and led to his removal from the family business. Despite these challenges, Mikey took positive steps by seeking rehabilitation for his addiction and ultimately reconciling with his family. He re-entered the business world as the assistant general manager of Orange County Choppers and ventured into the culinary sphere by founding Fark LC, a company specializing in pasta sauces. While Mikey has faced legal battles in recent years, he seems to be doing financially well and is focused on rebuilding his life and career. Vincent DiMartino, better known as Vinny, embarked on his journey with Orange County Choppers through a high school connection with Junior. While Junior Care or occasionally clashed on the show, Vinny's presence was integral to its appeal, and he became a significant part of the cast. Joining Orange County Choppers in 2002, Vinny showcased exceptional skills and a strong work ethic within the Tuttle family's enterprise. However, in 2007, Vinny made the decision to part ways with Orange County Choppers amidst rumors of internal conflicts. Seeking personal growth, he struck out on his own to establish Five Force Customs. This new venture faced early challenges, particularly due to the 2008 financial crisis, which caused economic turmoil and a decline in motorcycle sales. To ensure stability, Vinny diversified his services by adding routine car maintenance to his portfolio. Although Five Force Customs faced its share of struggles, Vinny's partnership with co-star Cody Connolly proved fruitful. Together, they co-founded the custom motorcycle shop, but the venture lasted for only five years. Following the conclusion of American Chopper, Vinny underwent a transformation, shifting his focus from two-wheeled to four-wheeled vehicles. In 2013, Vinny sold all his motorcycle equipment and used the proceeds to launch to Martino Motorsports in Walden, New York. His post-Orange County Chopper's journey was remarkably successful, demonstrating that he could thrive independently. Vinny's decision to break free from the constraints of Orange County Choppers allowed him to progress and explore new avenues in the automotive industry. Vincent DiMartino, the shop's metal magician, with hands of gold and a laugh that echoes through the garage, he's the heartbeat of American Chopper. If motorcycles could talk, they beg to be crafted by Vincent's expert touch. Rick Petko, a skilled blacksmith and metalworker, gained fame through his extensive career in bike manufacturing and construction. His journey intersected with Paul Sr. at Daytona Bike Week in 2000, eventually leading him to New York in 2002 where he secured a position with Orange County Choppers. Initially working as a bicycle repairman, Rick quickly rose through the ranks, becoming a southeastern distributor for Orange County Choppers. His appearances on the show solidified his reputation within the Orange County Chopper family. Despite his professional success, Rick remains a devoted family man, balancing his career with a daily 90-minute commute to be with his loved ones. Recognizing the need for change, Rick transitioned to become the head fabricator at Pocono Mountain Harley-Davidson in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. In this role, he applied his skills to help customers customize their bikes, 
further honing his expertise in custom manufacturing. His diverse career has spanned various industries related to furnaces and metal bending. In his free time, Rick channels his creative energy into crafting handmade knives under his company, RPD and Company, known for their exceptional quality. These chef knives have garnered attention in the metalwork community. Operating his business from home allows Rick to spend more time with his family, striking a balance between his passion for metalwork and his personal life. Cody Connolly's story with Orange County Choppers and American Chopper is one of passion, craftsmanship, and evolution. Starting as a young apprentice, Cody's fascination with motorcycle construction propelled him forward, showcasing his innate talent for precision and dedication. As he honed his skills, Cody transitioned into a seasoned mechanic, leaving an indelible mark on numerous iconic Orange County Chopper builds. His departure from American Chopper, while relatively quiet, sparked speculation among fans, yet it didn't deter Cody's commitment to his craft. Teaming up with Vinny DiMartino, they launched Five Force Customs, a venture fueled by mutual respect and a shared love for motorcycle craftsmanship. Their collaboration swiftly gained recognition within the custom motorcycle community, with each creation bearing Cody's signature attention to detail. Beyond television fame, Cody's contributions resonated deeply, highlighting the meticulous artistry inherent in custom motorcycle building. His journey underscores the enduring legacy of American Chopper, transcending mere entertainment to celebrate the craftsmanship and passion that define the world of custom motorcycles. Cody Connolly, the prodigy of the open road and open throttle. With a grin that rivals the shine on his custom builds, he's the young gun with the golden touch. They say he was born with grease in his veins and a throttle in his hand. If American Chopper had a wild card, it'd be Cody, the daredevil of the workshop, always pushing the limits on and off the road. Jason Pohl, renowned for his distinctive design style, rose to prominence as the celebrated designer on the hit television show, American Chopper. His innovative concepts and occasional clashes with Paul Sr. showcased his talent and determination to push boundaries in motorcycle designing. Beyond the realm of Orange County Choppers, Jason embarked on a diverse array of design projects, solidifying his reputation as a sought-after name in the industry. While maintaining a lower profile on social media since the show's conclusion, Jason has continued to broaden his horizons in industrial design transcending the confines of motorcycle design. Despite occasional appearances on related reality series, including American Chopper Senior V's, Junior and Orange County Choppers, Jason's journey has evolved beyond the screen. In 2013, Jason made headlines during an episode of American Chopper Senior V's. Junior, when a clash with Paul Sr. resulted in a memorable incident where he threw a motorcycle off a lift in a fit of anger. Despite this, Jason has remained focused on his career, currently serving as a brand ambassador for SolidWorks, where he shares his expertise and explores the capabilities of the company's tools. Additionally, Jason runs his own design company, Jason Pohl Designs, where he continues to be involved in projects ranging from creating CNC machines to other ventures in manufacturing. Balancing his professional endeavors with his role as a devoted family man, Jason finds joy in spending time with his wife and children, cherishing heartwarming moments shared with them. Before his tenure at Orange County Choppers, Jason's journey took an unexpected turn. Having served in the Marine Corps, he gained discipline and values that would shape his work ethic later on. Initially pursuing a bachelor's degree in fine arts at the Illinois Art Institute, Jason honed his creative talents before finding his calling in custom motorcycle design. The video ends here. Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you.